Have you scried upon the all-seeing stones? Well, we have. Find out what they said here on 6663 WZRD, The Wizard. What's up, my magical whores? <laughs> <laughs> Violet, we can't say that on air. I, I'm sorry, I got excited. <laughs> um, hi, everybody, you're listening to 6663 WZRD, <laughs> The Wizard. <laughs> Uh, we got the, uh, I'm your host as always, uh, Violet Philemus, uh, a guy that does magic sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Who are you? Mr. I, I'm, Man? you know, I'm your other host, Benedict Balthazar, the 77th. I also am a guy that do that, that does, <laughs> that does magic sometimes. You do's the magic. <laughs> We're a little silly here in the studio today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very humorous day today. Yeah. <laughs> are, are you, how are you doing your day? <laughs> you're, your intro killed me. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, we gotta <sighs> bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, this is the show. We're professional whores. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. We're professionals. <laughs> we get paid to do this. We get paid to do this mm-hmm. every other week. So. Professionals. Yeah. How, you, how you doing today, Violet? I'm full of beans, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> you know? I, I don't know what to tell you. You know what they say about beans, right? Uh, they make you toot. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Yeah. The more you toot, the better you'll feel. So let's eat beans for every meal. Oh, I don't, I don't know that second half. Oh, yeah. For sure. For but, sure. yeah, no, I ate, yeah. I, ate, I ate some beans today, so I guess that's it. Very nice, very nice. I did not eat any beans today. Um, all righty, I guess let's... Yeah, let's just, let's just bring let's it right in. Hop into the schnooze. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I, you mind if I take this one? Uh, grip it and rip it, baby. All right, all right. Uh, recently, uh, Wendelin of Wendelin's Ancient Artisanal Sandwiches, uh, who you will remember unleashed Porkron, the greasy on the city recently, uh-huh. um, she, uh, has recently been released from prison following an extensive legal battle. Uh, when asked for comment, her lawyer, Zaul the Bad, uh, had this to say, quote... I'm just that good, man. Unquote. Now, this is somewhat concerning. A little bit. Um, Considering, like, we could have died. Yeah, she did very much uh, unleash. Try to kill us. Yeah, she very much unleashed, like, an ancient bacon devil on the city and on the studio and did attack several of our advertisers and us. Yeah, you know, like, it's it's really... I, listen, I'm, again, I'll say this as many times as I need, but I'm all for magical freedom. Yeah, of course. Um, of course. But not when it's coming at me. Yeah, you know? I believe, um, according to the court proceedings, um, Zowell's main argument, uh, Mr. Mister Badman's uh, main argument, was the fact um, that we could not prove that Wendelin was not possessed by Porkron the whole time. Yeah, like... Yeah, I guess. But also listening back to those... Ta- like, she did an ad where she was like, oh, you want me to do evil? Yes, daddy. You yeah, know what I we mean? have that, like, on recording. Like, that's on tape, baby. Like, I don't Broadcast I don't know. around the world. Y- yeah. <laughs> on, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, so, I don't know. Whatever. It's a little concerning. Yeah, just just a little odd. Um, but, you know, uh, Zal's just that good, man. He's my lawyer. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. If I ever need a legal, if I ever need, if I ever need a lawyer, I'm, I'm drawing that pentagram straight away. Like I, yeah, for you know, sure. he's, he really is the best in the biz. Um, clearly. As yeah. We can I mean, see. Wendelin committed a war crime and she's Wendelin chilling. Wendelin committed like, several war crimes, assaults, um, accomplice to several deaths. Mur- yeah. The murder, straight up, straight up murder. murders. Um, and she's out in what, like a month and a half? Yeah, barely. All right, but you know, who am I? I I, I wasn't I wasn't a legal student. I didn't study that. I had to take what some music like? law classes. Some huh? Music law. Interesting. It's boring as shit. That's why I got but the a only lawyer. law class I ever took was at Winterfield, and it was about um, ethics of conjuration. It was conjuration ethics. Ugh. Because okay, well, when you conjure something, you're not creating it out of thin air. You are pulling it from somewhere else in the multiverse. Yeah, like Earl. And Yeah, and putting it here. Like, Earl was just a dude. Earl was just a guy in the elemental plane of air that we pull- pulled here. But, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, just yeah. moving on from legal stuff. That's, that's boring. 
Yeah. Don't want to get into it too much. Um, something kind of funny has gone on. Funny uh, in a certain sense. Uh, funny in a uh, funny in a not a funny ha ha kind of way. Funny. Funny in a seemingly Im- improbable. How did somebody do this? Yeah. <laughs> funny in a huh kind of sense. Yeah. Go on. Um, it seems that Dr. Ludwig of Dr. Ludwig's Discount Clinic uh, has recently been arrested under suspicion of medical malpractice, uh, which is not normally an arrestable offense. Yeah, correct. Uh, but uh, the city guard had no choice to intervene uh, when he apparently started stealing his live patient skeletons. Uh, yeah. And they reported this. Yeah, uh, Which, several. Huh? So, for those who don't know, Doctor um, Doctor Ludwig, uh, he is he runs a discount clinic here in Navas that does surgeries at a cheap price because they're non magical. Uh, yeah, so they're he, risky. He is a mundane surgeon. We should say yeah. he's not a wizard or an artificer of any. Which kind. makes this more insane that he could steal people's, people's whole skeletons. While they are alive to report it later? Yeah, and also that they wouldn't immediately report it. They yeah. reported it later. Implying that he is not only stealing the skeletons, but putting just enough in there, like put <laughs> like replacing just enough that they don't notice at first. That's uh, truly horrific. Yeah, so, uh, but, you know, doctor, honestly, like, if you're going to a discount clinic. You get what you pay for. Yeah, like it was it was literally like what, 20 gold pieces for open heart surgery there? Yeah, I think something like that. It's insane. Yeah, I could buy a health potion and just for that have price it be fixed. and just fix it. So like, yeah. At a I certain mean, point, you're getting what you pay for and what you pay are paying for is very cheap surgery. Not to victim blame or anything. Yeah, but like But if you are going to a discount clinic whenever you could just buy a health potion for the same price. Yeah, I mean, with the invent of the, the Haven Health healing potion, like, it's so oh, yeah. cheap and easy now. Yeah. I, d- I don't get it, but... But, you know, um, he has been arrested. He has been taken in uh, for questioning. So, hopefully, uh, the victims will get the justice they deserve and also get their skeletons back. That um, would be good, yeah. In other news, in actual funny news, mm-hmm. uh, I read this copy earlier today and found it hilarious. I have not heard it, so lay it on me, baby. So, uh, you remember uh, Falgernor the Stoic? Yeah. The turned into a standing asshole. stone in the middle of the main road in town. Mm-hmm. So, with the help of uh, some barbarians using their rage strength and some giants even coming in uh, for help, they were able to move the standing stone about 15 feet towards the Navas Square Park. Uh, in order to just put it on display in a much more convenient area. Uh, But security cameras actually caught late last night uh, Falgenor reverting back to human form in the middle of the night, returning to his original spot, and then assuming his stone form once again. Are you fucking kidding? They moved him 15 feet, and late last night he turned back into a person, went back to where they moved him from, and turned into a stone again, and completely eliminated all that progress. Funny. Now listen, <laughs> I don't really have to worry about intersections that much. Yeah. Guy's still a butt for, you know, uh, causing traffic to stop. That is maybe the funniest thing he that could is, be doing. That is objectively hilarious. I do not care who you are. I do not care no, how this is that inconveniencing is you. such a commitment to a bit. that The fact that he is not only able to revert to human form at any time, but is also aware of what he is doing. Like, yeah. he is fully he causing knows. this on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Which is so funny. I want to know his beef. Yeah, I don't know, man. I wonder, if, I wonder if we can I wonder if we can get an interview. Yeah. I wonder if we can convince him to come out of I've, stone form just enough. I've tried to enough. ask him. He just you, you have? Yeah. You've I've gone up, up to, to the it. statue? Yeah. I think the, the new plan is to build a roundabout around him now. That's good. But Love a roundabout. But the question is. With this new information, if they build a roundabout around him, is he just going to move to one of the sides of the roundabout? I guess we'll find out. That traffic? is the that is the current city plan. the The current city planners have elected for the roundabout to be built around him. So I guess we'll see what what Falgernor does with that information. I, I guess. Um, but you know, wow! Like just what a legend, truly. In, yeah. In the purest sense of the word, what a fucking dude. What a guy. <laughs> what a what a. You know, I walk to work. Yeah. I don't drive around the city. I, I only ever drive if I have to leave the city for whatever reason. I also don't drive. Yeah. You <laughs> you, you just park your dragon in the parking spaces. I, you know, we, we've been She's doing She's not some, out there. We've been doing some training. Good, good. Of when I here. say, do what you want, 
usually that should not involve uh, laying down and taking a nap. Yeah, yeah. A- at least not in a parking lot. Um, but, you know, uh, that's that's about it for our, our local news this week. And But, you know, I do still have uh, some good news for the listeners. Uh, oh, yeah? We are going to move on to weather, and we have brought Earl back from the Nightmare Dimension. Oh, you know it, baby. How, how you doing, Earl? How was your time in the Nightmare Dimension? Uh, horrifying. I saw... Yeah. I saw... Ma- I, 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 uh, Did you see your wife? Ah! Huh? Did you see your wife? I hate my bitch wife. Yeah, I know. That's why I was asking if you would have seen her in the Nightmare Dimension. I did, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the Nightmare Dimension does tailor itself to your own personal fears. But yeah. um, I remembered that I sent you there, and you are back now. Uh, I managed yeah. to summon you back. Thanks for that. Of course, of course. That's the least I could do. I think you've learned I think you've learned your lesson. So, so uh, mm-hmm. what's been going on in the weather? Well, my beautiful boys. Uh, th- thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It's been a, a pretty consistent drizzle for the past week, which is nice for me. I like, uh, you know, I like a little chilly rain. That's always nice to hang around in. It's it's uh-huh. a calm and breezy environment. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, though. Like, a little yeah, bit. but you know, it's 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 nice for me, and that's what matters. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. It's nice I remember, and like last time we were on, you were very mad about the the, the good weather. Yeah. So I'm glad there's some. Just Some like a, weather for it's a you. chill vibe to be wind and relaxed. Yeah, you yeah. know. Do we got yeah, anything I, else going on? Gotcha. Anything else important? No, not really. I think that's about it. That's what I've been doing after there, the nightmare dimension. You know, just there, hanging out. There is more weather phenomenon going yeah, on in we, Candelia. We have copy Earl. for you, Earl. Yeah, I don't really care. Earl, but, listen, guys. <laughs> Uh, 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 Benedict, you have to understand. You sent me to the nightmare dimension. I'm still recovering from that. I, I don't know if I can read anymore. Uh, yeah, but you you know you just know the weather. The copy's for us. We don't need to give you a copy. Yeah, dude, come on. You I just mean, naturally know what's going on. That's why you're the weather man. Yeah. All right. Listen. I mean, I, I don't know. What about in know. Southern Candelia with water raining upward? Like, That's not weather. That's just weird. Th- that is weather. <laughs> no. It is raining. Upside down. Yeah, I mean, dude, like. Well, listen. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening, Earl. That's what we're here to. All right, hold up. That's Earl. not weather. That's some weird magic shit. I don't know what to. I. That's not me. You know what I mean? That's not me. That's not my voice. All right. Earl. I'm just saying. You're not going to report on any of the other weather. No. I mean, seemingly he's not. It, it's oh god. There's there's literally fire tornadoes. In northern, in in the north, yeah, that is me. That is my voice. Yeah, I, I could have probably said that. Um, you guys yeah, don't probably. pay me though, so like, you just kind of like pulled. Listen, I hate my bitch wife, but <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to ads now. Yeah, uh, I, we, you guys pulled me out of the uh, my fucking house at home. All right, you don't y- pay you're me. Fine. You send me to the nightmare dimension. You're fine. I, all right, fucking. What we're, we're going to ads. We're going to. It ads. is chill to hang. All right, yeah. We're, let's, we're, let's we're going to ads. Let's we'll, to we'll ads. catch you after the break with some listener call-ins. So get Ooh, your yeah. get your crystals ready. Uh, with the number will be coming up here soon. So oh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Hello, patients. I am Dr. Ludwig from Dr. Ludwig's Discount Clinic. We have all the discount surgeries you could ever need here, including a 15 gold special on our open heart surgeries, organ replacement for only 25 gold. Want a spleen where your heart should be? Want a lung where your appendix should be? I'll fucking do it! And we also do kidney enhancements. Call for a quote now. And introducing draconic limb grafting. For just 50 gold, I will put a dragon's limb in place of one of your own. And now we are having a two for one special. If you get one draconic limb, get another one free. Only at Dr. Ludwig's discount clinic. Come practice medicine with me. Hello, I am Mambo of Mambo's Magicarium. I'm here to sell you all of our wonderful items. Uh, are you in need? 
of a candle of near everlasting flame. Or perhaps a cock ring of undying. Mayhaps the ring of Joe. Joe who, you ask? Yes, indeed. We are also having a special on our broom of dusting. And our final item of the day. Cow tools. Come to Mumbo's Magicarium for all your arcane requirements. Yes. You're listening to The Wizard, only on 6663 WZRD. Welcome back to The Wizard. Welcome. Welcome only back. 6663 WZRD. I hope your crystals are ready, baby. I, I hope so as well. Uh, so we do uh, have a new phone number than last time after the studio yeah. got a little demolished um, in the incident from a few weeks ago. Yep. Uh, we had to get a new phone number. Our new phone number is four. Yep. Uh, please call us at four if you want to call in. Um, so, yeah, just d- open up your crystals, dial four, and, and you will reach us. And speaking you of reaching queue. us... Looks like we already got our first caller. All it's right, a, all right. Chrissy Cumboy. Okay. This This has got to be a prank, right? I mean, I, I probably. It's, it's got to yeah. be. Yeah. Cumboy? You want to mess with him a little bit? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all right, Chrissy. Uh, you are on the air. How, how you doing? Uh, hello. My name, is, uh, my name is Chrissy Cumboy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sure is, man. Yeah, what are you what are you calling about, uh, Mister Cumboy? What why'd you why'd you say it like that? I, I'm just curious about what you're calling about. Oh, well, you know, I got these I got these really bad carbuncles on my feet, and I was wondering if you had a if you knew a spell that could help me remove them. Are, yeah, are yeah. You, are you saying your name? Is, you are Chrissy Cum, uh, Chrissy Cumboy calling about carbuncles. Chrissy Cumboy needs to know about his carbuncles. Why are you being so mean? Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, it, honestly, as far as fake names go, this is like pathetic. Honestly, why are you saying this to me? Yeah, yeah, Benedict. Oh my God. Oh, um. Hey, hey, man. Sorry, we've had issues with uh with prank callers before. Um. Oh boy. All right. I. Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, we're just gonna. Well, well uh, sorry about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure we're definitely not gonna get to talking to you about that. Anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, Chris, oh. Chrissy, call us back after this, and and we'll we'll have a little one on one. Um. Just. Yeah. Um. Next. Next caller. Next caller. Yeah. All right. Looks like. Oh. <gasps> Are you gonna say it? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, and then I was waiting for you to say it. Okay, well, it looks like looks like we got a, a familiar face calling us back from from our last listener calling. Elliot Ruxelford, you are back on the line. What's up, man? Hi, it's uh, it's so nice to talk to you guys again. It is it is great great oh, yeah. to hear from you, good man. Hear- I, I hope you're coming back with with some good news. I I hope as well. Well, I am. I just um, wanted to let you guys know that your advice it it worked um, <laughs> on multiple fronts. Um, oh, the rings of fire resistance. Yeah. Um, we are engaged. Yo! A fucking boy, Elliot. Let's go! (laughs) That's what we like to hear. That's what what we like to see. I I really appreciated the advice. Uh, Hey, Uh, hey, man. I'm glad it worked out. Look, we're just here here telling people things. Like, that was all you. That was all you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 100%. Well, I hope... God, man, I'm just... I'm so happy for you guys. You guys... Oh, man. Me yeah. too. <laughs> my my heart is warm now. My heart is full. Yeah, give the uh, give the give the operators your your address after you're off the air, and we'll uh, I'll I'll send a little something. Oh, oh yeah. th- thank you so much. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Like, 
you know, ha- have a great wedding. Good on you. I, I hope I hope it lasts forever, man. I yeah. hope so. I mean, if you guys want to be invited. <laughs> I'm not I'm opposed. I'm not going to say no. You I'm can ride po- the dragon? I'm not opposed. <laughs> I know it's a bit far out, but uh, we do have Gwenjamin. Yeah, we do have we do have the we means just of teleport. transportation. If you want to, if you want to send, I'm just saying, if you want to send like a, an invitation or anything, our address is four. four. I believe. Yeah. No. Now with four the... Navas. Yeah, they'll know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I'll, I'll definitely get on that. Thank you. Once we pick Thank out you. a date. <laughs> and again, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <sighs> All right. So. You have you have a good one, Elliot. You too. Yeah. Bye. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh. Nice. Thanks. Good push. Thanks. Uh, what a dude. Glad to what? glad to I'm, hear from him. You know, I'm 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 really happy that he he gave us a call back. Yeah, I'm glad my you know tricks I picked up on the road while being a rock star worked out for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like we got. Our third caller coming in, uh, Mr. Ronald Schwartz. How you doing today, Ronald? Uh, well, you know, just peachy. Yeah, yeah, man. What, what's going on with you? What do you need? Uh, what do you need advice about? Well, you see, uh, my uh, local potion maker has decided to make his bottles slightly more. Uh, uh, Big, uh, small, what, what, what's it? Yeah, what's going Enticing, on Enticing, uh, let's say. Uh, um, what do you... Yeah, what, 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 do you, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I mean... Well, you see, they are very long and uh, well-rounded. Sir, are you and okay? Uh, <laughs> yes. Let's just say it's been a while and... Oh, oh. God. Uh, the, 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 yes, and... Uh, Look, we don't need to... Uh, we don't need, I don't think we need... I don't think we can, like, legally get into the specifics yeah. on the air. Just tell us what kind of potion. Let's just say a potion of paralysis is it, it, it's slowly being released in my colon. Oh, God, dude! Why? Why a potion of paralysis? It was the cheapest one. It's so. Where'd you buy this? Yeah. What? And also, like, what? What potency is this particular potion? Well, you see, I bought it from Pity Winkle. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah that does track. He, that is... he has been making his potions look more and more like dicks as the time has gone. He's a weird guy. Oh, you know, he's a weird little blue pixie guy. I gotta love, love him. him though. Yes, but uh, it uh, it's a strength that should last about uh, four hours, I believe. Okay, so if that yeah. whole potion does leak out, you're looking at several days of paralysis. <laughs> potions are potions get about ten times strong, way more than ten times, honestly, when yeah, imbibed and, through uh, the, the other end, soft tissues yeah. internally. So. Okay. Oh shit. You're are you a wizard? Yes. Okay. Do you know the spell reduce? I I have practiced many a spell, so yes. Do you know okay. Yeah, I think so, I see where you're going. With yeah, this. so you're going to need to cast reduce on the bottle. Uh, and then you yes. should be able to just carefully remove it. Very and clever. You should yes. still hopefully yeah. have enough movement left to get to a cleric or something. I see. Okay, let me try it now. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I cast oh, it oh, on myself. Oh, God. Oh, um, shit. Oh, oh, uh, but, uh, did we just kill a guy? I didn't say anything. Did I just kill a guy? You made him, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not my fault that he miscast. Uh, nope. <laughs> I think I just killed a guy. That or uh, I made him come real hard. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. <laughs> you oh. know, he, if he died, he went out doing what he loved. I would hope. This is a this is a very <laughs> rancid call in section. This is a very this has been an emotional roller coaster. There's been a lot of highs and lows. Yeah. Elliot Ruxelford really ugh. 
the start savior. off great. No, it started, started off, off bad, bad with with Chrissy. I'm so sorry, Chrissy. I'm so sorry, Ronald. Oh my God. Well, um, just just take the next call. Or just take the next call. All right. Oh. I gotta I gotta I gotta think for a second. <sighs> All right, coming in from oh, uh, we have a Stacy fake name. That sounds familiar. Uh, Stacy, you're you're on the air. Oh my. God, I'm such a huge fan of Lich. Like, oh my gosh, you're totally my favorite band. Uh, that's, I'm so glad to hear. What, uh, what, what, what's your question? Today? Uh, I, I just, I just love. Like, my favorite songs are "Dash Out the Brains of Your Enemies Upon the Rocks of Satan" and one. "Let Me Listen to Your Death Rattle." My favorite album that's is "Orphan Obliterator." Too. Like, oh my god. I'm I'm so glad to hear. Uh, what what's what's your question? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Um, like. Violet, like, what's your favorite spell? Like, that's my t- question. Um, got, I gotta think about it. Benedict, what's your, what's, what are you rocking with? Uh, well, usually, um, man, what is my favorite spell? It's a great and, question. And yeah, like, it's hard. Violet, wh- what's your favorite spell, though? Well, hold on. Like, let, yeah. let's let Violet think for a second. Um, uh, you know, I've always hmm. been a big fan of, like, dancing lights. It's really good for, like, like setting a vibe. For something uh, like me and my friend Bradigan uh, use that one a lot, uh, but I, you know I'd probably have to go with Magic Missile. Uh, it's always that's a class. It's always in my it's always in my grimoire, always in the rotation. Always I always have that one prepped yeah. uh, just in case. Um, yeah, I mean I, I'm I gotta think like maybe like Raise Dead just as a necromancer. Mm-hmm. Um, you know I, on a base level it's it's very much the uh, the kind of Intro, but it's a it's a classic. It it it's oh, of course. it's evergreen. It, it it there's something so romantic, especially if you know the the individual you're raising, or if you want to like just raise an army. It's very versatile, you oh know. That's it's like, it's like such a good answer. Conjurers. Yeah, exactly. Or, uh, you know, another one that's uh, been in my rotation a lot recently since it got unbanned is um, Summon Lesser Tuna. Great for lunch. Really good, really good. I've, so I've, yeah, fi- I've find I've found myself using a spell slot on that. At least every other day recently. Yeah. It's very convenient. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, Stacy fake name. Yeah, I had to, what did, of the of the of the Winterfield fake names? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> how like how did you know that? I mean, my my mom introduced me to Lich. Um, she said she had a life changing concert. Um, like uh-huh. what, what's 17 your, what's years your mo- ago. What's your mom's name? Um, Elizabeth, fake name. Okay. How, wait, how, how many years ago was the concert? Uh, like 17. How old are you? N- 19. All right, we're good. All right. Um, Sweet. Why? <sighs> Whew. Uh, um, don't worry about it. Ask your mom. Oh, um, oh, okay. Ooh. I can say well. <laughs> are your parents together? Um... Um, what, what? Uh, doesn't um, matter. Uh, anyway. No, uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling, um, Stacy. Um, th- um, th- thanks. Yeah, th- go, thanks for being a fan. Um, yeah, totally. I, Good talking to you. I will, I will <laughs> promote Lich any day. Just give me a call. Cool. Can't do it. Uh, have a, have a good one. Thank you. You too. Whew. Violet. What can I say? Dodged a magic missile there. <laughs> <laughs> By a mile. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Well, um, that was fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, looks like we got another caller here. This will be our last caller of the day. It's a, um, a Mike Hawk. This has got to be. A, another... Well, Cr- Chrissy wasn't. <sighs> And Chrissy Cumboy was way more obvious. Yeah, you know what they say about assuming, I guess. Yeah, this yeah, could just be a bird person. We can't risk it. I don't want to. Fuck. Make, I've made one person cry and possibly one person die today. I do not need to add to either of those things. <laughs> That's real. All right. Um, Mike Hawk. You're, you're, you're on, on the, the air. air. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Who is this? Uh, WZRD is the wizard. Yeah, well, you, uh, you called us, man. You, you called me. Why are you... What? Yeah. Um, so, uh, 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 Mr. Hawk, 
Um, yeah. Are are you some kind of bird individual? Mm-hmm. It's in the name. Yeah. Are are you are you some kind of falcon? Yeah. Okay. Something something like that. Yeah. I don't want to disclose personal information. Oh, you I, don't. You called me. I. I, I yeah, shouldn't be so, telling you. Um, shouldn't be telling you these so, things. So, uh, Richard Peacock. Uh, How you doing, you man? Son of a bitch. I uh, huh? Who is that? Ah! Again! Again! <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Richard. Anyways, yeah, this has been a, a very eventful. You know, that's some a- that's some agony I'm okay with causing. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, fuck it. Yeah, of course. Right. So uh, that's going to do us for listener call-ins. We got uh, global news coming up next. Yeah, join us uh, in just a little bit after these ads for some some global happenings, some globular news. All right, see you then. In need of a good time? Well. You should come on down to the Daily Dalliance, the number one adult club in Navas. See our dancers put on the sexiest show of your life. We even have themed nights every single day. This week featuring Ooze Night, Spaghetti and Meatballs Night, and Forge Night. To see the rest of our schedule, visit us online at dailydalliance.org or... Come see us in person. I hope to see you soon. Mwah. Hello, listeners. I am Rudolfo Reddington, owner of the brand new Cascading Cauldron here in Nevada. Come get our delicious flavored potions. You can think of a flavor, I can make it. Cherry, mayonnaise, burning tires, whatever you want. We got potions of eye lasers in every color of the rainbow. Potions of speak with couch, to whenever you want to talk to your best friend. And potions that make you explode. Come on over to the Cascading Cauldron today. We're for one day only on our grand opening this Friday. Every potion is free. Come on down and I'll make you the best tasting potions of your life. The Cascading Cauldron. You're listening to The Wizard, only on 6663 WZRD. We're back. We're back. Welcome back. We're so back. We're always so back. Um, uh, first and foremost, before we get into anything, I just wanted to... Oh, yeah, um, let's get yeah. into this. Um, we would like to apologize on behalf of 6663 WZRD, uh, the programming studio, we did not realize that we still had Dr. Ludwig's ad in the episode. He paid for ad space before all of this broke, and I guess everybody forgot to check up on that. Um, so we would like to insir- sincerely apologize on behalf of the network. Um, to those who are affected. On behalf of the station. Um, to those without their skeletons. Uh, and Sorry about your bones. Uh, we would like you to reach out to us at our phone number four. Um in order to uh, reconcile this issue. Wonderful. Anyways, uh, let's, let's, get get, into let's get into it. Some monstrous machinations. <laughs> or some monstrous machinations. Yeah, okay. If you're not stupid. Um, this week I'm talking about some sea serpents. Sea serpents. Snakes of the sea. Yes, big uh, water-bound fellas. Um as a as a as a previous cannon run captain, sea serpents were a big thing that I had to learn about. Um, as a, uh, uh, but they're pretty easy, you know. It's just like it's the modern age. A lot of boats come with anti sea serpent uh, enchantments. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of wizards can cast stuff that gets rid of them, uh, or, or like, you know, I don't know. They're very. Uh, I, I guess in terms of like 
actual practical advice. Uh, they are usually deep sea creatures, so if you see them out and up, that means they're hunting, which means that they are on the lookout for prey. Um, they don't like things that are flashy and loud. Uh, the loudness is really more, uh, but because they're usually deep sea, uh, if you flash them with like a light spell or you have a large uh, torch that you can, like a, uh, what are those called? The lanterns you can flip open? A keyhole lantern, something like that. Oh yeah, I think so. Like a hooded lantern. Mm, yeah, yes, a lantern yes. that you can you can direction. Yeah, uh, you can give it direction. Like um, a lighthouse lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's, I know there's a specific word yeah. for it, but it's leaving my brain. Of course, no worries. Um, but yeah, just shine that in their eye, and they'll usually uh, bug off for at least a good like thirty minutes if you need to get out of there. Uh, they're also very territorial, so once if you can outrun it or you can spook it with some light. Uh, once you're kind of out of their range of like, th- yeah, probably about two fifty feet, three hundred feet. Yeah, uh, you're pretty golden. They're pretty they're, big guys. They are. They're pretty they're big guys, but deceptively they, fast as well. Yeah, that is fair. If you don't have like a small sloop to go on that you can really <laughs> into the horizon with, it uh, can be a little bit difficult to mm-hmm. to deal with them. But you also got to think like generally, they're giant man eating snakes. Right? Yeah. They they prey on whales. They prey on um, uh, smaller krakens, like young krakens. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're ambush predators. Yeah. So if if you're in their zone and you manage to scare them off, usually by the time they recover from whatever days you've given them, uh, they'll you'll probably be long gone. Yeah. They're not they're not the type to like chase you down. Really. Uh, yeah. The cannon run coach at Winterfield used to just blast them with lightning bolts. Yeah. Which did work sometimes, but on the bigger ones, it usually just made them angrier. Yep. No, it's it, it, general strategy just to boogie out of there. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. I will say also, like, just get a any get an anti sea serpent enchantment on your boat. It costs yeah, like a hundred gold. Sets off like like a special frequency, like a sonar almost that yeah. only sea serpents can hear, and they don't like it. Yeah, they don't like it at all, so they will try to get away from it. Yeah. And like also, and it's totally ethical. It only goes out to like a, like a hundred feet or so. Yeah, uh, like away it from your go boat. Doesn't down to their homes. Yeah, it it's it's them. not bothering them it's uh, only beyond a range where they would be an issue for yes. you. Yes, which is nice. Um, also, they did. Uh, there there are amendments to the laws. You can't uh, kind of do the insurance fraud thing where you buy a fancy new boat, you don't get the sea serpent insurance, and then you get to sue the sea serpent for damages. That doesn't work anymore. Yeah, the. Just get the get the uh, either get sea serpent insurance and whatever take the risk because you're a high level caster or get the warning. Um, yeah, other than that, sea serpents aren't that big of an issue. Yeah, honestly. the sea serpent ward is super cheap as well. Yeah, like um, like compared to sea serpent insurance, very cheap. Yeah, um, and also if you're buying a boat, you have the money for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's be honest. Yeah, for real. Um, I think that's about going to do us for this monster's machination. Yeah, of course. Uh, may I may I take it away with some globular news, my rip friend? Rip it and rip it, baby. Of course, of course. So, uh, speaking of the seas uh, in the Cynesian Ocean, after interacting with modern society, the people of Atlantis have decided that the world actually has ended, and they have resunk the city once again. Yep. Uh, A small neighborhood of Atlanteans has remained, both to preserve new political ties and because they genuinely think that the world isn't so bad. Yeah, the chill members of their society, I guess. Yeah, they were they were saying like that, like they the other the Atlanteans that went back down to the sea are of a very um, traditionalist group, Mm -hmm. one could say. Yeah. Um, and these ones uh, that stayed are, are more progressive and willing to accept and grow with uh, the way that society has changed since they yeah. sunk. Absolutely. So I'm glad that they're staying both so that we can preserve the, the ties between us and Atlantis. Um, because, you know, if you don't have ties with the people that rule the ocean, that might make crossing the ocean least, a little difficult. You know, their little corner of the ocean. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I've heard they're really good marksmen, too. Yeah, oddly enough. Yeah, it, which is interesting because you think with the, the the sea it'd mess them up, but I guess they've had to overcompensate so much for the drag. Yeah, that their weapons are just like that. Yeah, it's insane. They have like some of the fastest arrows you'll yeah. ever see in your life. It's pretty wild. It's it's pretty nuts. Um, but 
what are your what are your thoughts on Atlantis returning to the sea? How'd they resync the city? I, I'm sure it's some city? kind of ancient mechanism. They got to do a ritual, probably sacrifice some something. I don't know. Nah, whatever. I'm sure it was some quest that some guy went on. You yeah. know what I mean? Had to recover some long lost trident or something. Yeah, or you had know, to, you yeah, know the deal. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tuesday afternoon activities. Yeah, of course. You know? Of course. Um, in other news, uh, we are being told that uh, Xandrian Philemus, king of neighboring country Odisha, uh, has still not been located. Still. Uh, I've been getting talking tos from my family and the royal court because seemingly I'm the only person he's contacted. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have a voicemail from him. Oh, cool. Uh, that he left. Sick. So let's yeah get that up, get that up to the mic. Let's let's see here. Uh, bu- 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 yeah, because he's been gone for like a month now. Yeah, pretty wild. Over a month. All right, let's see what we got here. Violet, baby, so good to hear from you. Listen, a little bird told me that my royal advisors have been hounding you about where I am. Let me pass this message along to them and the press. I am one of the greatest wizards of this age. I have raised mountains and drained the seas. If I want to be found, I will be found. That is all. Also, bye. If you want to hang, drop me a line, and I'll send over a secret magic door for you. Love you, kiddo. Bye. Uh, You heard it there, folks. Yeah. Uh, That seemed pretty succinct. Yeah. Uh, What a guy. He's a cool dude. He seems real cool. I think we're going to hang out later tonight. Nice, nice. That is not an invitation for the advisors to follow me. Also, if you follow me, I am also a great wizard, and I will kill you. That's legal. Yeah. Listen, if I'm getting stalked because my uncle is hanging out with me, uh uh-uh. Generally speaking, threats do have legal precedence here in Candelia. Yeah. As long as you aren't making, like, a totally unreasonable threat. Listen, if you want to fuck with me, you can fuck with me and find out. Exactly. Fuck around and find out. We're the Flamuses, baby. What can I say? A, a classic, a classic saying. Uh, well, you know, I, I hope I hope you and your uncle have a good time tonight. Uh, yeah. You want to come out? I'd be down. Sweet. We'll go to the secret bar. Hell yeah. I love secret bars. My favorite. Uh, in other news, uh, the Courageous Cavalry, who uh, you all know as the stoppers of that red dragon from a while ago, and Porkron the Greasy. Slayer, Porkron, yeah. Uh, during an expedition overseas to Odisha, they became marooned on a remote island in the Sinesian Ocean, where they ended up discovering a species of sentient, non-anthropomorphic lizards. Uh, according to the cavalry, the lizards, ruled by their ruler, Lord Gizzard, helped them rebuild their ship and find their way to land. Yes. Ooh, this, this is uh, a pretty interesting discovery, I must say. Yeah. Like, so, it, it, so they're like not like humanoid. Yeah, they're, they, they it's are non-convergent evolution. Which yeah, is they really are neat. just lizards, but they are like completely sapient. Um, yeah, pretty pretty cool stuff to be honest. Yeah, you know, really really lucky for the the cavalry to just happen to land over oh, there. What's going on? Huh? Oh, looks like we're we're getting a, we're getting a brief. Yeah, we're getting some breaking news here. Yeah, some breaking news. Um, with the help of several arcanists worldwide, uh, John Bermuda, the man who discovered the Bermuda Pyramid, um, has discovered new properties of the artifact. The rain falling upward in southern Candelia was actually the result of the appearance of the Bermuda Pyramid about two miles up in the air. Told you. I guess Earl was right. That wasn't a weather phenomenon after all. Um, A casting of a detect life spell has revealed several hundred life forms within the pyramid, including Mm. one that exudes a very strong life signal. This discovery has revealed that not only are the people that have disappeared still alive, but that there is something that appears to be controlling the pyramid and preserving the lives within. It also shows that the pyramid can be invisible. Yeah. And cause odd weather patterns. Interesting. This is... This is big news. Yeah. 
I mean, we might be able to get back. For for, for those who, who missed our episode on the topic last, uh, a few episodes ago, actually, yeah. um, John Bermuda's uh, daughter was actually recently. Yeah, Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl Bermuda was actually recently, like, captured, for lack of a better term, by I the Bermuda now, Pyramid. yeah, not killed or transported. Yeah, she, th- this does mean that she is more than likely alive and that every person who has ever disappeared into the Bermuda Pyramid is probably also alive. Huge. Very huge. I wonder, there's, they did mention there is a huge life signal in there, one that exudes, like, greater energy, Mm -hmm. I guess. I wonder what that could be. Yeah. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's some kind of compressor of life force. Maybe it's, it takes in individuals and puts them into one big mass or something. That'd be wild. That'd be scary. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's like, but I guess I don't know. It's, it's maybe it's some kind of like controller of some kind, like maybe. a pilot. Yeah, maybe. It maybe whatever it needs, like, it needs yeah. water. Yeah, ma- yeah. Maybe like some kind of like maybe this like py- pyramid is like way more alien than mm-hmm. we thought originally. Mm-hmm. Like maybe. Oh my god, this is Might huge. Get, yeah, <laughs> Sorry, some, I, like I've been yeah. ge- I've I've been like I I've done so much research into the Bermuda Pyramid in my own time. Like I'm I'm geeking the hell out about yeah. this right. right now. Sweet. That's fucking sick. Well, I hope that I hope that we can crack the code yeah. soon and See figure out happens. what's going on in there. But uh, yeah, I think yeah, I, I think, think that's gonna that's gonna do us for this episode of the Wizard. Neat. We got some got some fun news, got some good news, some bad news. Uh, made some, guys balls on. We fire. laughed, we cried, we shit our pants. We might have killed a guy. You might have killed a guy. Can, can, can you be with me on this, please? <laughs> okay, we might have killed a guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's going to do us for this episode of The Wizard. Yeah. So join us next time for some more news, some more fun happenings, maybe an interview or two. Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows what's going to happen? Wow, you're really jazzed about this pyramid thing. I'm so jazzed. I've got to right. I gotta go look into this. i got to... Nice. I gotta, gotta see if I can research. get. I wonder if I can get in contact with John. I think one of my cousins uh, worked with him. Oh, nice! Yeah, one yeah. Of, uh, one of my cousins is an arcanist, so I think he might have. He might. He might have some. Might have some toes in that might pond. Have some connects. Yeah, okay. might have some. Might have some fingers in that pie. But anyway, sure. Yeah. All right. So I've been Benedict Balthazar, the seventy seventh, and I am Violet Philemus, the hey. first. Hell yeah! And we will catch you in the next one. Catch you on the flip floppity. Bye-bye.